Welcome to The View from Pew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM. I'm your host, Reich Plekis, each and every Wednesday and Thursday from here on out on The View from Pew.com and KTIA at 3 p.m. Join me as I present the greatest gospel artists, small groups, musicians, pastors, authors, apostles, and more, bringing to you the clear and concise word of God locally. Join me, www.theviewfromapew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM at 3 p.m. I hope you'll join me to spread the word powered by GFest and Webcast One Live.com. Welcome to 99.3 KTIA FM, The View from the Pew with Reich Plekis and my lovely co-host, Pastor Judy Chapman. How are you? I'm doing great today, thanks, I Reich. love your smile. It's just magnetic. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Inviting everybody in Central Iowa to come out to Festival of Praise on September 22nd. Yes, that is a Monday night, but you'll get a, a dinner break. You'll be getting the food from the Lord that night. That's the Festival of Praise with Donnie McClurkin and Fred Hammond at Cornerstone Family Church. 3114 Southwest 61st Street. That's 61st Street and Park Avenue here in Des Moines. You can get tickets at Cornerstone Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. or online at Eventbrite. I always say save the fee and go straight to the church and get your tickets. Checks, cash, uh, credit cards. They don't take credit cards, so you can call me. 720-3939. That's Festival of Praise with Donnie McClurkin and Fred Hammond. Stay tuned. Stay listening today for a chance to win because we're going to call out some, some times that you can call in and win a free tickets so you don't have to spend money we're just going to bless you all right so we're going to get into the word and we're going to take live prayer requests pastor judy and if people call in they call in if they text in they text in um i'm going to try and watch the the facebook chat and see I, I know i did already get one already but you know god loves you god loves us and because he loves us so much he wants the best for our life is that not correct god wants us to be blessed yes he does say that you know you look so good without headphones i love your ah, hair thank you See, thank you god loves your hair to be just the way that it is just how it is all windblown and wild right <laughs> something like that <laughs> but he wants the best for our life restoration wholeness purity prosperity and that's why jesus christ willingly laid down his life right he died for people like me amen right and me amen amen you didn't have much to die for. You're you're pretty good, pretty nice uh, person. Well, ooh. Philippians says there's no good good people, but for all have sinned and fallen short, right? Ooh. Not one of us. God doesn't measure sin. We're all born guilty. I know we're gonna have some church <laughs> up in here today. Now she's already <laughs> on fire. His sacrifice has provided the way for us to live and find and experience the healing, the power, the restoration, the preservation. Right. The cleanliness, right. the wholeness, the pureness of Christ. Amen. Amen. All of that. Yes. You know, um, I was reading, and I'm just going to, I sent this to myself so I could say it correctly, Pastor Judy, because I get so tongue tied. And after last week, when the Holy Ghost just showed up <laughs> at the, I mean, you and I were like ready to lay out on the floor, shambalala, you know. <laughs> but um, God has a plan for us, He wants to heal us wherever we hurt. You know, years ago, I fell down and I did the worm across the living room floor, you know, and that was like seven, eight years ago. Uh, seven, eight years ago? Yeah, <laughs> it was. Right. Yeah, and the, and the neurologist said, you know, I herniated two discs in my back. Oh. And she said, you will never walk again unless I fuse your back. Right. I do remember that. And I, I said, like heck, lady. <laughs> Right. You know, I said, I'm going to get up and walk out of your office. Give me some drugs. I need some Percocet, some Darvocet, some, I don't know what it was, Flexorel, something, you know, I need something because God's going to heal me. And she's like, well, people always say that they're going to be healed. And I said, well, what faith do you stand for? And she's like, I'm Jewish. I'm like, then you should know of all people, the Jew are the chosen nation. And I said, you know, you should know that God is a healer. I said, give me some drugs. I'm going to do water with swimming pool therapy. I'm going to lose some weight and I'm going to be healed in Jesus name. Hallelujah. And I walked out of her office and, you know, but God. But God, I lost weight. I exercised, pushed myself away from the table, and my discs went back into place. That is such a that is you such know? a testimony. It is, and yeah. we're to live by testimonies, right? And I went back like at, at six months or three months, and they did another MRI, and she's like, "Now let me see your back. When did we fuse you back in December?" I'm like, "I didn't let you touch my back." Mm -hmm. She's like, "Huh?" I'm mm -hmm. like, "Jesus is a healer. Don't mm -hmm. you remember you and I having this conversation?" Mm -hmm. I said, "You're Jewish. I'm not." <laughs> but I said, but we're by the same daddy. Right. 
I said, but I got healed. I said, Jesus came to give us abundant life, and this is my abundant life. I'm walking it out. Right. And she said, well, let me see your back. She's like, well, you're right. We did infuse your back. And your MRI shows your your discs are right back in place. It doesn't even show that mm -hmm. there was ever anything wrong. I think I may have the wrong MRI. I said, no, you got the right MRI. I just know the healer. God is, God is a miracle God. Amen. So I wrote this down, but the truth is you cannot catch health like you catch a disease. A disease is an infliction put upon you because of disobedience. And that's how I was reading this. For example, if you're around somebody who has a cold, you don't have to do anything to catch it. You were around the person that had the cold. Okay. Just like if you're around a sinner, you can fall into that sin. Right. Kind of the scenario, you are the company you keep. If you're around a bunch of alcoholics, you may become an alcoholic. Proverbs does admonish us Come to on. be uh, careful of the company that we keep because we will become like that which we surround ourselves with. Amen. So I say this because you can be around a healthy person, but you won't catch their health. Ooh. But if you know the same God, you can catch the healing that he has for you because you know the maker, right. you know the author, right. the giver of life. Right. And so if we choose life and choose life abundantly, life comes by through prayer and by speaking. His truth is over our lives. If we speak that truth over our life, we're going to prosper that truth. Right. So if we proclaim healing in Jesus name, we cannot be healed. We have to be healed if we proclaim that. And, you know, people may say, well, I had to go to the doctor. And Reich, you had to go to the doctor. You had to go to a neurosurgeon to be told what was going to happen to your back. And God gave you the wisdom to do what you needed to do. I do believe that God gives wisdom to those that are called. Right. Whether your husband is a music minister or you're a music minister or a psalmist or somebody's a doctor or a lawyer, a dentist, whatever it may be. God gave them wisdom to walk out those giftings and callings. Right, he did. And it's up to them to provide that information to us truthfully right so that we can seek the word from the maker absolutely and walk it out yeah yeah and god loves every one of his creatures even this gnat that's flying around the studio he loves <laughs> he this is gnat. there isn't he <laughs> he loves this gnat but this gnat is going to be delivered from the studio today we're going to get him <laughs> so one of the ways we could choose life is through prayer and by speaking his truth over our lives daily. Right. Um, and, and we just want to help you with that today. If you have a prayer request, we want you to call in at 855-244-0077, 855-244-0077. You can hit me on the chat at Facebook, which we just got one right now, Sean Jarrett. In fact, he also sent it to my phone, so I'm going to read that one because it came across the chat a little bit. Um, my brother Sean, we're gonna uh, we're gonna pray for your eye surgery. He is gonna have eye surgery. Okay. Uh, Pastor Judy, and also he's been diagnosed with Bell's palsy, so um, we're just gonna lift him up in prayer for that at this time. <clears throat> and um, you know, Sean, you serve God through music ministry, through word, through works, through deed, and God wants to make you whole. He doesn't want you to spend the rest of your life hurting. He wants you to live your life out in him, through him, for him. And, um, you know, uh, Pastor Judy, if you've got something there, go right ahead. I do have a couple scriptures I want to pray out over, uh, over him, Sean. Um, we join our hearts with you right now, Sean. And we want to ask in the name of Jesus, because Jesus is the one who took the stripes. Yes. And I know you know that. But I want to encourage you in that. And I want to pray. Uh, Jeremiah 17, 14 says, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. Sean, I know God is your praise. I know you praise him. You worship him. You are a music minister, a worshiper. And I just want to pray now in the name of Jesus. God, we declare this scripture over Sean Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are Sean's praise. Father, in the name of Jesus, we cry out to you, God, that you would touch him, yes. that you would encourage him, that you would surround him with those who love him and speak faith and life and hope to him. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Also, I just looked up one for you, Sean, and that's Deuteronomy 7, 15. And the Lord will take away from thee all sickness. Absolutely. All sickness. And will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which thou knows, upon thee. That means do not pick up what Egypt walked away with. Don't take the sickness. Don't take the disease. Don't take the plagues. You have no time for that, basically, upon thee. But will lay them upon all them that hate thee. That means that, Sean, that people that hate and do not follow Christ will pick up the disease and the sickness from Egypt that was left. Uh -oh. So we know who you serve. We know how you serve. We know your heart. And walk that out and proclaim that. When you go to meet the eye surgeon, you pray with that eye surgeon right then and there. Yeah. And you never know by, by your diligence, by your... Uh, your obligation to live out your life in Christ, you may set a captive free right then and there. You have no idea. Amen. Yeah. That That is powerful. Yeah, that is. It happens. It does. It happens. You never know when or how God is going to touch our lives. We don't know. And we also don't know um, how he's going to choose to glorify himself through our illness, through our sickness, through our adversity, through our trial, in all of it, God has a plan to glorify himself if we will stay Amen. with him. Amen. I'm um, going to pray for Pastor um, Apostle Garland Scott. Okay. Suffered a concussion this last week. Um, he uh, was working on the Noah's Ark, a men's reintegration center, which is opening uh, this next week down in Jacksonville, Florida, and working on, on a two by six board, hit him oh. in the head, hospitalized him with a concussion. And so. Um, we're going to pray for that, yep. you know, that, and, and something that just comes to my mind, I don't have a scripture right now, but you know, God gives us a sound mind, Judy, and, and he doesn't want us to be attacked in that. Right. And so, you know, I'm, I'm just going to pray, you know, Apostle Garland, you know, you can lay hands on yourself and the sick shall be raised and healed. And so oh, we just, um, we take authority over that concussion. Yes. We take authority over that blood that is on your brain at this time. And we know that Jesus is a healer, the author and the giver of life, and that the, the dead shall rise up and that you do not have dead works. You do not serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God, a living God, Apostle Garland. And we just proclaim that. Go yeah. Ahead. Yeah. Okay. Psalms 31, 24 says, be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. All ye that hope in the Lord. Garland, we know your hope is in the Lord. We know that. And so we stand with you and we speak out God's word because God's word is the power that does its work in your life. I also want to declare 1 Peter 1, 3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. That is the power of God working in your life, the resurrection power that raised Christ from the dead. And that is the power that we stand on in agreement with you, Garland, that the resurrection power of Jesus Christ is going to do all, all that it will do in your body because of what Christ did for you. Amen. Amen. You know, God is so good. And, and sometimes, Pastor Judy, I know that we try and rush God. Yeah. I need my healing right now. Right. But he puts us in a wilderness for a reason to call on him yeah. to seek his face. Right. And, you know, um, I, I'm just going to say this to brother Sean, you know, right now, I'm not saying that you're being disobedient, but this is a time between you and God right. to really just focus in on him, focus in on what he's done for you and your life, you and your wife, your family, and just seek his face, seek, seek the wisdom he's given you, amen, to, to walk out what he's been um, calling upon you to do, because it's going to set, set the captives free. Psalms 107, 19 and 20 says, then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saves them out of their distresses. That doesn't mean that you're troubled, Sean, but you have a sickness that's come upon you, and he just wants you to call upon him in your distress, and receive the word, the healing from them. Verse 20 says, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. It's good. I, I can already feel it right now. That's good. 
That's good. <laughs> Call in with your prayer request, request at 855-244-0077. I'm here with Pastor Judy Chapman of White Dove Ministries and, of course, myself, Reich Pleck, as the view from the pew. We're getting ready to go in right after this. I can feel it. Hallelujah. Amen. From the REMAX Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. See them here, see them there. You got bad credit, we don't care. Visit eMetroFord.com for your guaranteed credit approval. Good credit, bad credit, no credit. Everybody drives with guaranteed credit approval at eMetroFord.com. Visit eMetroFord.com today. If Tom Coates from Consumer Credit of America was your personal webmaster, Tom would filter out all bad debt emails. If Tom was your mailman, you'd never get any debt reduction junk mail. If Tom Coates was a lineman, he'd block any phone calls offering to reduce your credit card debt. Hi, I'm Tom Coates with Consumer Credit of America, and we're still your best choice for credit counseling. We're local, we're accountable, and we can do more. You make the call when the time's right for you. When it comes to competition, there really is none for Consumer Credit of America. Hey, psst, let me let you in on a little secret. You ready? Always try to do business with people, not places. Especially if you seek honest Christian business people. And when it comes to my car, I really need to trust who's working on it. Now, my family is so blessed. A few years ago, we found a family-owned automobile repair shop that operates as a Christian business also. Open, honest, reliable, trustworthy. It's Amco on Hickman Road in front of Kmart. And it's a family-owned Christian operating business. This family treats your car as if it was their car. Everything from oil changes to transmission repair and everything in between. So the next time you feel the need to be at peace with your choice of who you can trust with your car, give Amco on Hickman a chance to serve you. And tell them Max sent you. Get away from us, you mean old credit card. We don't have any more money. We're in trouble now. Save us. Help. Somebody save us. Somebody help. Help. Save us. Hi, I'm Tom Coates from Consumer Credit of Des Moines. If your credit card's a little too animated, give us a call. Hooray, we're saved. Mm -hmm. Democratic, mm -hmm. you're the hero. Welcome to The View from a Pew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM. I'm your host, Reich Plekis, each and every Wednesday and Thursday from here on out on The View from a Pew.com and KTIA at 3 p.m. Join me as I present the greatest gospel artists, small groups, musicians, pastors, authors, apostles, and more, bringing to you the clear and concise word of God locally. Join me, www.theviewfromapew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM at 3 p.m. I hope you'll join me to spread the word powered by GFest and Webcast One Live.com. Back here at 99.3 KTIA <laughs> FM, The View for the View. Did you see what I was doing? No. <laughs> I, there's a net in the studio, and I followed it all the way across the table. <laughs> oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength and my laughter, too. Inviting everybody to come out September 22nd to Cornerstone Family Church for Festival of Praise with Pastors Donnie McClurkin and Fred Hammond. I tell you what, it's going to be an awesome evening of ministry. We want to thank our sponsors, especially Platinum Sponsors, Iowa Gospel Festival, and Pastors Dan and Ann Barry from Cornerstone Family Church. Yep. Also our gold sponsors, Craig and Laura Griffith, Sean and Tara Jarrett, Patton's Restaurant and Catering, 
Pastor uh, Kunta and Angela, and I always mispronounce your last name. I am so sorry. Naimita, Naimiba, <laughs> and also Henderson Funeral Home, Elders James and Regina McNear, uh, Pastors Michael and Shanice Cameron, and also Studio Trends Patrick and Jenny Lewis Roberts. Uh, th- that's Festival of Praise, September 22nd. You can get tickets Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Cornerstone Family Church or online at Eventbrite by searching Donnie McClurkin in Des Moines or call 515-720-3939. Amen. <laughs> You know, I, I love gnats. I'm suppo- I'm sure they're supposed to serve a purpose. But, you know, Noah, you could have left those two off the ark. <laughs> <laughs> How did, they were imposters. <laughs> they were somehow. They came, you know what, they snuck in on a sheep or something like that. <laughs> we are having live prayer Wednesday here at 855-244-0077. The View from the Pew with Reich Plekis and Pastor Judy Chapman. And as we were at a break there, I was, I was reading the scripture, Isaiah 55, 9, 11, for that the heavens are higher than the earth. And so are my ways higher than your ways and that the, the that my thoughts are your thoughts for the rain comes down the snow from the heaven returneth not thither but warmeth watereth the earth and make it bring forth a bud and you know that that basically is saying that what god does brings life yeah. and you know healing brings life yeah. you know i do i can't believe that healing would bring death unless of course it's it's the resurrection because he you know he came back again amen yeah, yeah he so did. You know, um, with that being said, there's power in the word and you can't help but think you cannot deny that God is good. Right. And with that being said, it's, you know, I, I don't, and I, I have to say this, Pastor Judy, I love atheists. I just don't have to respect what they think, but I have to love them because the word instructs me to do so. Right. And so, you know, um, I can't help but think who the author and the giver of life was, you know, that who can calm a raging sea, who can move a mountain, right? you know, and just know that God is my healer. He's my vindicator. He's my lawyer, my doctor, my, you know, my author. Yep. He's you all know. you need. Amen. Amen. You yeah. know, he's almighty. He just... He makes you speechless, you know? He could take a baby crying and soothe that baby, you know? Or say, give wisdom to the mom that the baby has need right. through that cry, right? you know? Yeah. And a, a mother that knows a child's voice knows what needs to take place. That's true. You know? And you, you could say that being a mother. Yeah. You knew if the, the child was teething, yeah. if the child was wet or soiled, you right. know? Yes. Or if the child just needed comfort by being in your arms. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God is so good. Yeah. God does know. He hears our heart cry. Amen. God sees into our heart. And he does know things about each person that nobody else knows. So he knows the truth of a matter. And uh, when, when we call on God, we are, we are also calling him to search out the truth of the matter and reveal that to us so that we do know exactly how to pray, how, exactly how to move forward, exactly Amen. <laughs> what to do. Amen. You know, Holy Ghost laughter is great. <laughs> we may just laugh at the Lord all afternoon, you know? It, it, jo- joy is good. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Yeah, it Amen. Is. <laughs> I'll find that somewhere in the scripture. It's in I know there. it's there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you know, uh, Malachi, for I am the Lord and I change not. God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Yes, he and is. he will meet every need abundantly. Right. Every right. need abundantly. You know, um, and, and you can you can stop me here, Pastor Judy, because you and I have this this uh, revelation between each other that we know we can read each other's body language. <laughs> but there's been times when you have felt lack because of either healing or finances or the circumstances, but God always provided. Is that not true? Every single time. Every single time. Every single time. Yes, right. Every single time. You know, you and I were talking about air conditioning on the way here. <laughs> and sometimes we take for granted things that are given to us, you know. But then it brings back to remembrance. I remember driving in that 1972 
Chevrolet station wagon, you know, with no air conditioning, you know, <laughs> pulling a, a travel trailer with my parents when I, we were going to the Grand Canyon. I was like, I will never do this again. And the next year, my dad bought a motorhome. <laughs> so, you know, God provided for us to buy a motorhome. Right. But he still met our needs. Yeah. He got us from point A to point B. And, you know, Matthew 9 and 35 says, and Jesus went about all the cities and the villages teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness, every disease among all the people. You know, if we could have, you know, people always say, if I could just have the faith of a mustard seed, mm -hmm. because they're looking at something so small, but what about if I could just touch the hem of his garment? Right. You know, and she was healed. Right. Just because she had that faith, if I could just touch the hem of his garment. Right. She had faith in the one. Amen. In the one who's the healer. Amen. We have to come to know him. Sometimes the greatest disease or the greatest sickness is in your mind because our minds must be renewed according to Romans chapter 12. Um, that says, you know, be, be ye not conformed to this world, but renew your mind and quite often after we have renewed our mind on the word of God, we can uh, have that faith that we need to receive everything that we need. So sometimes you have to start in your mind. If you don't believe or you don't know what God's word says, you don't know where to put your faith. Amen. So we need his word more than, more than anything. We need his word to us personally. You know, I remember, and, and with that word comes wisdom. True. You know, I remember uh, back in the day, and, and um, this is when Pastor James was at Cornerstone, and uh, the spirit was just flowing mightily, and I was on a sales call going somewhere, and I had the music just playing in my car, you know. I had a, uh, had a, a Fiero back there. Back oh, then, a red, wow. A red two-seater, you know. Yeah. And I had the music just blaring, and I was like on the, uh, the highway or somewhere, and I just put my hands up in the car, and I was praising God, and I closed my eyes, and the car's like, wait, this is not wisdom. Wow, that's so not, that, <laughs> is, <laughs> that is so not uh, wise. <laughs> I, had to, I had to say, thank you, Lord, for reminding me <laughs> that there's a reason why our hands are supposed to be at 10 and 2, you Whoa. know. And I looked up, and here was coming a, co uh, a farm combine. I think that's what <laughs> It's called one of those big things with the big arms. Yes. You know? I was like, "Woo, Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord, for waking me up, you know, because I don't want to be sliced and diced, you know. Yeah, you're not ready to go to heaven yet. So God gives you wisdom through the word, right. you know, and, and just by being obedient that he'll he'll snatch you up in a heartbeat when you need to be snatched. Right. He Amen. will. He will. <laughs> Amen. You know what? I just have to laugh. <laughs> I just I am laughing at this gnat that is in the studio, you know. And Mac, I hope you're listening to the show because there's gnats <laughs> in the studio. And, you know, that that uh, no disease shall come against me, no gnat shall come against me because I serve a mighty, awesome God that is bigger than this gnat that is in this studio. Oh, that's funny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm bringing in some raid tomorrow. <laughs> God's given me some wisdom to stop by Family Dollar or something like go. that. There you go. That's some wisdom for the day. I want to, at this time, I just want to reach out and thank our sponsors, um, Metro Ford of Chicago and, and Patrick Milligan, his staff over there for helping to make the show possible, you know, helping to, to, to bring forth the word, you know, whether it be in laughter, whether it be in Psalms, whether it be in Proverbs, whether it be in biblical uh, scriptures, teaching and preaching, but more so just to say thank you for making this possible that, you know, Matthew 15 and 30 says, and great multitudes came unto him, having them that those were lame, blind, dumb, maimed, and, uh, and many others that cast down at Jesus' feet. If it wasn't for our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to pray for people that need prayer. Right. That's true. And so I, I really appreciate that. You know, um, there's going to come a day, Pastor Judy, that I may say, let's do a, a share a thon or a, a telethon, you know, just for Mac, even that has the station here, you know, and just let people call in and, and either financially bless him or bless him with thoughts, words, and deeds, you know, because if it wasn't for his vision, we wouldn't be here. Right. That so. is a really great idea, Reich. I think you should, I think you should take that plan forward. Amen. It is. Amen. Yeah. Ryan, you can help us with that, right? He's like, sure, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, because, you know, the power of the airwaves is, uh, well, first of all, Scripture says that Satan is the prince of the power of the air. Mm. So let me tell you, to have 
the opportunity to preach the Word of God out over the airways in such a fashion that it is, it is going worldwide. It is, it is a privilege beyond understanding. It is, it is way, uh, it's bigger than my dreams ever thought I would have the opportunity to speak Amen. into lives and hearts anywhere. And, and that is worth supporting. That is worth supporting. I'm going to say it one more time. That is worth supporting. Amen. It is the word of God spoken out over the airwaves. Wow. And and we're just to take authority. Yes. And, and you know, Mac, I know that, you know, you're getting ready to do your testimony. And, you know, I want to pray for him real quick before we go to this next break, Pastor Judy. You know, um, Mac is going to be giving his testimony, I believe, on September 3rd or September 7th at Ryan's during Testify. And, um, you know, I want to pray for Mac and for the strength, um, because I know sometimes it's hard to share your personal testimony with the public. Right. And would you mind leading us in that? I would love to. Amen. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up Mac right now to you in the name of Jesus. We lift up this time that he is going to open his heart and give his testimony. Father, I, I pray right now that you would minister to him strength and encouragement and give him a, a remembrance to everything that you have done for him and every step along the way that you revealed yourself to him. I also pray, God, that you will bring people to listen, that you will cause all of those that need to hear his words to show up, to tune in, to hear everything he has to say. And I pray that lives will be changed. And I pray that we will get to see the fruit of his uh, labor to share his heart. Thank you in advance, Mac, for doing that. And again, thank you for the opportunity to share Jesus Christ across the airwaves. In amen. Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Ooh, God is good. He is good. All the time. All the time. And, and all, all the, time, the time, God is, is good. good. <laughs> You know, um, and I, I just want to say this as a word of encouraging, you know, Mac has, has seen me through a whole ordeal with my uncle being abused and, you know, my mother's illness. And, and you know, if it wasn't for him and favor with him, I wouldn't be here today because wow. he serves a mighty God also. Yeah. And so I, I truly, truly appreciate him for that. Taking your prayer request at 855-244-0077, 855-244-0077. Stay tuned. We're getting ready to give away some free tickets Ooh. in Jesus' name yeah. for the Festival of Praise with Donnie McCurkin and Fred Hammond on September 22nd. Greg Plekis and Pastor Judy Chapman in the studio live. From the REMAX Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. I'm Brian Leach, owner and general manager of Service Legends. Oh, I brought uh, along a couple of the uh, home comfort heroes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tammy Wells. I am Nick Wondershot. I'm administrative manager. I'm the senior technician. From Service Legends. It seems like every good thing, when you feel it to the bone that it's good, there's a lot of hard work put behind it. You just, I, I don't think that you can fake it and have it turn out good. You know, if we seem like, okay, that's just weird, it's just a furnace, why would you believe so deeply in a furnace? It's not just that, you know, we want to show the world that you can have good service. Yeah, I mean, it's gotta be, it's your home. You know, it's, it's built into our daily trainings, it's built into our culture, um, that we're gonna do whatever it takes to have each client say they love us, period. That's why we spend all the hours in the training that we do, and if we guarantee it's gonna be a good experience for you, or else it's free, what type of work do you think we're gonna do? <laughs> there is a guarantee. Temperature selection guarantee, fixed rider it's free guarantee, comfort guarantee, best value guarantee, all of these guarantees hold us accountable to ensuring that we exceed your expectations. And if for whatever reason we'd fail and we can't make it right, we guarantee all of those guarantees with a 100% money back guarantee. I mean, if you don't think that your technician can fix it right, are you gonna say that to a client? No. <laughs> You don't have to worry about having a technician come to your house. We drug test, background check all of our team members. We put safe people in your home. Each and every one of our service techs, 400 hours a year in training. You tell it the minute they walk in the door. They know what they're doing, they've done their homework, and they actually truly care about what you want. Because at the end of the day, you're the person that makes sure I have a job. They're going to be listening. They're going to want to know what your challenges are. Then they're going to come and give you options, and, and you get to choose. If I'm there to help and I make it easy and painless, I did my job right that day. Well, when it comes to your comfort, safety, 
and your family. You know, you don't necessarily go buy the most expensive, but you get the most bang for your buck. Oh, it's worth it because there's a lot of people that will find a way to get it to work right now and then leave and then come back, charge you again, and, and the cycle just repeats itself. So when I'm out there looking at the furnace, I want to find why it failed the day. How can we change the part today with something that you're not going to have to worry about? Is it worth changing the part today? I mean, you can put a lot of money into a furnace. I can fix parts all day. There's good job security in that for me, but is it the right thing for you? I get a lot of the phone calls of after the technicians are there. They're just in awe. They're like, wow, you guys are great. I mean, I don't even know what to say. You guys are great. Everything you did was perfect. It's great. <laughs> Keep going though. I like this. <laughs> just give us a try. I'm going to take all the risk. I've got the time to make this right. I've got the support to make it right. Just check us out. And if you don't see the value in what we do. I mean, fixed rider, it's free or 100% money back. Enough said. Welcome to The View from a Pew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM. I'm your host, Reich Plekis, each and every Wednesday and Thursday from here on out on The View from a Pew.com and KTIA at 3 p.m. Join me as I present the greatest gospel artists, small groups, musicians, pastors, authors, apostles, and more, bringing to you the clear and concise word of God locally. Join me, www.theviewfromapew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM at 3 p.m. I hope you'll join me to spread the word powered by GFest and WebcastOneLive.com. Hey man, we're back here at 99.3 KTIA FM, The View from the Pew. Mac must have just heard me because he liked my post on Facebook. Ooh, so, all right. Inviting everybody to come out September 22nd at Cornerstone Family Church, the Festival of Praise with Donnie McClurkin and Fred Hammond. Tickets are on Eventbrite. You may also buy them at Cornerstone throughout the week, Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. I want to thank our platinum sponsors, Iowa Gospel Festival, and Pastors Dan and Ann Berry of Cornerstone Family Church. Also, our gold sponsors, Craig and Laura Griffith. Also, Sean and Tara Jarrett, uh, Patton's Restaurant and Catering, and also uh, Studio Trends, Jenny Lewis Roberts, Pastors Michael, Shawnee's Cameron, Pastor Kunta, and Angela Namiba. I always mispronounce that with a name like Reich, you'd think I know. Henderson's <laughs> Funeral Home, Elder James and Regina McNear. We just want to thank you very much for helping make this evening Festival of Praise possible. September 22nd at Cornerstone Family Church. Get your tickets at Eventbrite or uh, get them at Cornerstone. We're actually going to be giving some away here very shortly, so stay tuned. You know, um, I have to say, when you, when you were... Um, uh, uh, praying, Pastor Judy, you know, about the airwaves that, you know, God calls us to go on the highways and the byways yeah. to do his works, to do his will so that his will so that wondrous works take place. You know, we are, we're supposed to be um, his vessel, you know, right. and also take care of his temple, which we are the temple That's of the right. Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost resides in us yeah. and through us, he may work and have his being. And, you know, um, I have to uh, to to say this that um, recently this you know this last week I went to a church, um, I went to a temple um, in Des Moines and I was distributing some some um, marketing some evangelism information about the festival of praise, and I was greeted with hatred. Whoa! And um, I I made the comment that you know that wasn't a very friendly way to treat me, and the person said I wasn't treating you friendly. Oh. And they shut the gate on my car. No way. And I was so angered oh. that I posted it on Facebook. I did not put the name of the temple on there, but I let everybody else vent. Did you read that? I, that's what I saw when I, we were talking about that. And I said, I so when was that? That's what it was. It I saw was. it on Facebook. And, and I was like, Oof. I have to pray for them. Yeah. One, I have to forgive myself so I'm not bound up right. in transgressions with with um, hatred and frustration for them, for their thoughts, right. you know, and I put, I, I experienced reverse racism and, you know, uh, uh, brother Roman price said, Reich racism is, is no color. There is no reverse racism. Racism is racism. I'm like, you're absolutely right. Racism is not black. Racism is not white. It's just something that happens. And so, um, you know, I, I need to forgive myself for the thoughts that I had for that temple. And I just need to pray that God delivers them of, of that spirit that's there. 
right. you know, amen. Yeah. Frank has a comment. He's joining us here. Thanks for calling in, Frank. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Uh, I got a comment question. You guys uh, address it however you feel, feel fit. We will. <laughs> uh, in, in, in health, there's, there's a lot of contributing factors to health. You, you, you have uh, exercise, you have diet, nutrition, you have fresh air, fresh water, and sunlight. There's, there's uh, faith and repentance that plays into healing. Uh, James laid out in James 5.14, If any is sick among you, bring them before the elders. The elders have them pray over you and anoint you with the healing of God. If people ignore the, the, these, these factors of health, do you believe that they can be healed and God will continue to allow them to abuse their bodies like they were doing before? So does there have to be some, some repentance in it to turn away from certain things you do in your life for healing, or do you believe this healing just comes there regardless of what you do? Well, you know... My belief, Frank, is that, you know, that we live by grace and we die by grace. You know, grace is given to us and that you, the person that continually continues to sin is going to reap the benefits of sin. If you are a person that uh, I'm a large person, you know, if I'm going to continue to eat and be gluttonous, I'm always going to be obese. Now, thank God I've gone from a 64 inch waist to a size 50 inch waist, you know, and I'm, I plan on getting down like a 42, you know, but if I was to continue doing what I was doing, I, I could be stricken with a heart attack or a stroke, heart disease. Um, I used to smoke back in the day. Pastor Judy, I could probably get a witness, you know. I got a witness. <laughs> and, and if I was to continue to smoke and be obese, then the multitude of sin is going to cover me with bad health. And so, you know, grace only goes so far. Don't you agree, Pastor Judy? Or, or do you say, say once grace, saved by grace, always saved by grace? I, I believe that God reserves the right to determine when he offers mercy and when he withholds uh, his hand from people's lives. I have learned that most people have areas of sin in their life knowingly and unknowingly. And so we know that we cannot by works ever be good enough, Frank, to deserve or earn God's merit, his power, anything. Uh, but but because of what Christ did, our faith in Christ is what moves the hand of God, like the woman who touched the, the hem of the garment. It is our faith in the person, not my ability to be perfect. Sure. Uh, well, one other just brief thought uh, I would mention. Um, in, in Scripture, the Lord said, I don't believe everyone will, will receive temporal blessings in this, in this life. In fact, God said there will always be poor among us poor among you. And I'm just wondering sometimes in certain suffering, you know, people wonder and wonder out loud, why does God allow this suffering? But, but do, how do we know in God's omnipotence and benevolence and sovereignty that he doesn't see fit that, that others are changed sometimes by our suffering that we're not aware of? Because our suffering sometimes can soften hearts that we're not aware of that is being softened. So sometimes God is sovereign, and he will heal who he wants to heal, and I think sometimes he will not heal who he doesn't want to heal. But in that, his mercy, his justice, his love is going forward, because somebody's going to be touched that we may not even be able to, to see. I, I, I believe that God will heal everybody that calls on him. You know, it may not be in our day, in our understanding, in our time. You know, um, I know somebody that their, their youth is stricken with a very, very disabling uh, uh, disease, illness, and, and these are very godly people. And they say, my child will, will be healed because she has called upon the name of the Lord to heal her. And I may not see it in this lifetime, 
but in her lifetime or in the Lord's lifetime, she will be healed Yeah. for all that call upon the name of the Lord. All, it doesn't say some, that's where that free will comes in. If you want to sit in your house and be stricken with your disease, then you're not, and you don't call upon the name of the Lord, then you're going to be stricken with your disease for God gives us understanding. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. Proverbs three, five through six, you know, we're and James four and seven, submit yourselves to the, to the Lord God, resist the devil and he will flee from you that you could say the same thing about that sin resist from smoking, resist from alcohol and you'll be delivered from it. I, I choose not to believe the ways of Alcoholics Anonymous. I can't say that I've ever gone through it, but I have read their program. But I believe that God is a deliverer. God is a healer. God is the author, the giver, and the taker of life in his time, not ours. The View from the Pew. We're having prayer here at 855-244-0077. 855-244-0077. Stay tuned right after this to win some free tickets to Festival of Praise. From the REMAX Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. Visit eMetroFord.com for your guaranteed credit approval. Good credit, bad credit, no credit. Everybody drives with guaranteed credit approval at eMetroFord.com. Visit eMetroFord.com today. If Tom Coates from Consumer Credit of America was your personal webmaster, Tom would filter out all bad debt emails. If Tom was your mailman, you'd never get any debt reduction junk mail. If Tom Coates was a lineman, he'd block any phone calls offering to reduce your credit card debt. Hi, I'm Tom Coates with Consumer Credit of America, and we're still your best choice for credit counseling. We're local, we're accountable, and we can do more. You make the call when the time's right for you. When it comes to competition, there really is none for Consumer Credit of America. Get away from us, you mean old credit card. We don't have any more money. We're in trouble now. Save us! Help! Somebody save us! Somebody help! Help! Save us! Hi, I'm Tom Coates from Consumer Credit of Des Moines. If your credit card's a little too animated, give us a call. Hooray! We're saved! Consumer Credit! You're our hero! Welcome to The View from a Pew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM. I'm your host, Reich Plekis, each and every Wednesday and Thursday from here on out on The View from a Pew.com and KTIA at 3 p.m. Join me as I present the greatest gospel artists, small groups, musicians, pastors, authors, apostles, and more, bringing to you the clear and concise word of God locally. Join me, www.theviewfromapew.com and KTIA Radio 99.3 FM at 3 p.m. I hope you'll join me to spread the word powered by GFest and webcast1live.com. We're back here at 99.3 KTIA, The View from the Pew with Reich Plex and Pastor Judy Chapman. We're going to take a call at number five at 855-244-0077, 855-244-0077 for tickets to Donnie McClurkin and Fred Hammond. The Festival of Praise coming to Des Moines September 22nd at Cornerstone Family Church. Otherwise, you could get tickets at Eventbrite or get them at Cornerstone Family Church Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's Festival of Praise with Donnie McClurkin and Fred Hammond. You know... I have to comment about um, Frank's question, Pastor Judy. You know, um, we're not to question God. Right. And, you know, it, it would not be right for me to say what God can or cannot do, but other than by what his word says. His word says, for all who call upon the name of the Lord. Yeah. You know, and so um, it's not for us to question what he can or cannot do or who he won't heal. Right. You know, if, if God... Here's an example. My cousin 
you met Myrick, my cousin. His daughter was 16 and chose to get in a, a car with somebody after having an argument with her mother, and she was killed. Oh. Three girls in the car, and the boy lived. All three girls in the Corvette died. Wow. God had a plan for her whether she lived or died. Yeah. And she died in the hospital hours after the accident, but she called upon the name of the Lord in that hospital room wow. with a, a, a ruptured pan pancreas, spleen, spleen, um, ruptured pancreas, um, poked kidney, ruptured lung, oh. broken neck. But she called upon the name of the Lord. And the word says that he shall set the captives free. Yeah. And I believe that through free comes healing also. So I, I have to believe that by the word of God, not by the interpretation of Reich from the word of God, right. that we will be healed. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. What, what do you think on that? Well, I think that if we don't get our healing on this side of heaven, we will receive it on the other side. Amen. You know, we're just walking from one realm into the next when we pass from, you know, this life into the next. And that is why it's imperative that you're born again so that you're walking into the kingdom, God's kingdom, you know, Amen. because eternity is a long time. Amen. It is. <laughs> You know, and, and I know that there's different denominations, different doctrines, and and um, different beliefs. You know, um, I can't quote the, the number, but some um, some beliefs believe that only 170 or 180,000, 146,000 people will get into heaven. Uh, and, no. and and I, I say that you're misusing the scripture. Absolutely. That, that heaven would be running over, flowing over in abundance of, uh, of souls because yes. more than mil millions of people have died. Yeah. So you have something I know you do. I just wanted to read a scripture here out of Luke 7, 21 and 22. And it says, And in that same hour he cured many of their infirmities and plagues and of evil spirits, and unto many that were blind he gave sight. Then Jesus answered and said to them, Go your way and tell John what things you have seen and heard, how that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and to the poor, the gospel is preached. And that is what Jesus Christ came to do. And that is what Jesus Christ can do for you. So call on him, cry out to him. We are in agreement with you that God will do all those things for you and that you will live to tell and share your, your report to those around you of what God did for you. Amen. Yeah, that's a good word. It, that's a that's a solid word. Yes, it is. You know, God wants us to stand on Him, yeah. the rocker, the 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 giver of life, the the foundation. Right. You know, and you can't help but think that His word is going to come to pass over us. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Uh, Psalm seventy seven fourteen says, "You are the God who performs miracles." You display your power among the peoples. Why wouldn't we want to call on that? Amen. I, I want to. I want to believe every time I'm every time I'm sick, and I you know I get sick, but every single time I'm infirmed or hurting, whether it's emotionally, psychologically, financially, physically, I call on God. I call on God because He is the only hope I have. He is the one who created me. He's the one who knows how to fix me. Amen. And he's the one who knows how to fix you. You know, let's put this in retrospect. Let's reverse this. Okay. Thank you, Satan. Thank you, Satan, for inflicting me with disease <laughs> that I can't walk, that I can't get up out of bed. Now, why would a person do that? No, no. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, people, wait, you know, God doesn't, you know what this used to be say years ago, God doesn't want any whiny weenies in heaven. You know, he wants us to get up, get out of bed and do what he's called us to do. Right. Why would you lay in your affliction? Right. Except we know people do. And that is why we have to bring them hope. We know that Amen. Uh, with Robin Williams, you know. That's always in the news line. I see that still. Uh, it's such a it's such a tragedy that he did not have his hope in Jesus Christ. It is such a magnificent loss, and I grieve. That's I mean, right. I believe it's a call again to Christians to stand up, to reach out to those who are hurting, reach out to your neighbor, go check up on them. Don't don't live your life unto yourself. 
reach out to the hurting and don't assume that everybody's okay because I can tell you what, people are hurting and people need, Christ came to die for all. Amen. Amen. You know, um, I know we have a caller on the line right now and Ryan, I want to take that. I want to see who that is. So just tell them what, we're, we're making them go live with us. We only got a minute or two left. Ooh. So who do we have here on 99.3, The View from the Pew? Who do we have? Demario. Demario, how are you doing? I feel good. Uh, I believe you just won some tickets to the Festival of Praise with Donnie McClurkin and Fred Hammond. Is that correct? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is this Demario Blaze? Yes, it is. You better jump and rejoice. You better Ooh. put it all over Facebook <laughs> that you just won two tickets, man. Oh, because my I, God. I, hallelujah. <laughs> God is good all the time because I know you, you know me, and you better you you better show up with your symbols or something. We're going to make you work, brother. <laughs> yes, sir, Reverend. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Well, thanks for calling in. We got another caller. We're going to take them, too. We may be off the air by the time we're done. But thanks for listening tomorrow. Spread the good work of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I will. Tell Pastor be Mike blessed. and Shanice hello. We love them much. I you will know, be blessed. God is good all the time, Pastor Judy. Yes, he all is. All the time, God is good. You know, we thank God for this show. We thank him for the airways, the highways, and the byways. We thank him for the ability just to spread his word, spread the gospel. Yeah. You know, I look forward to it. Uh, I, the two days that we're here, your your smile is energetic. The word that is in you, of you, is is gleaming from you. Thank and you. I just rejoice in knowing that God is our giver and our author of life. Amen. Yeah. Yes, he is. Amen. I tell you what, tomorrow we're going to have Testimony Thursday. And tomorrow, you better be calling it tomorrow to testify. you got two free tickets to Donnie McCook and Fred <laughs> Hammond, September Woo! 22nd. Tell your friends to tune in to 99.3 KTIA FM, The View from the Pew, on Wednesdays and Thursdays with Reich Plekis and Pastor Judy Chapman. Until tomorrow, pray. <laughs>